Oliver, the march is just starting now. We're seeing some protesters there gathered behind you. Is it the big turnout that organisers were hoping for? Well, we should bear in mind that two o'clock, uh, which is right now, is only the starting time. So uh, it's a r rather small turnout so far, a few thousand. It's been building steadily over the last hour or so, and it probably will continue to do so um, for an hour to come. There's a bit of a rally to begin with, with speeches by various uh, members of the Civil Human Rights Front and also political parties involved in the pro-democracy movement. It's not quite a big turnout so far, but it is just past lunchtime. And we should also bear in mind that recent protests that have gone ahead generally tended to start at three o'clock. So people are probably caught a little bit short by that as well. And uh, despite the fact that it looks like a beautiful day here, and it is, and certainly for somebody from Europe like myself, a day like this in December is uh, quite unseasonable. But there is a cold snap this week and uh, temperatures are con considerably cooler than they were a week or two ago. So that actually might keep people inside as well. Oliver, we've had six months of demonstrations now. Will the government be paying attention to this one? What happens next? Well, they'll certainly keep an eye on it. It's um, highly unlikely that anything will come from a large turnout, even a huge turnout today. Uh, this march, organised by the Civil Human Rights Front, is the first that the Front has had authorised since July. And they organised the mass marches that took place two of them in June that drew one and two million people and also a third one in August that even though it was a refused authorization it went ahead and it drew an estimated one million people as well. The, the Hong Kong government is not really listening to anyone at the moment. Uh, just last month they invited uh, um, a group of international experts to assess the Independent Police Complaints Committee and the international uh, uh, the international experts from Britain, Australia and other countries gave a rather damning verdict on the capacity of the uh, Police Complaints Committee to actually deal with the amount of complaints coming through from the protests. Uh, just this week, the Hong Kong government themselves said, well, I'm sorry, thank you for helping us out here, but you just don't understand Hong Kong, these international experts that it had invited itself to come in. So it's very, very hard to see how uh, the Hong Kong government or the police, for that matter, are actually going to listen to anyone. The police have given today's march the go-ahead, but they gave a march last Sunday the go-ahead as well, and they released tear gas uh, within an hour of its starting. So there's a strong possibility that we might be seeing something like that again today. OK, Oliver, thank you. And you'll be following events as the march progresses throughout today for us.